Hello, now that you have understood the basics of IBM Watson Studio and how to navigate in the previous few videos, I'm now going to talk about how you can create IBM Watson machine learning model and deploy it on the IBM Watson machine learning service. So, you have IBM Watson machine learning service which you need to spin. In the next few videos, I'm going to explain how you create IBM Watson machine learning service. You do it going into the settings of your project and adding a service known as Watson. And Watson has many services. One of the services is IBM Watson machine learning service. So you need to enable this service and I'm going to show you in the next video, but you're going to enable this service and then there are three methods of implementing the Watson machine learning models. So first is SPSS modeler flow. It is derived out of IBM SPSS tool, which was supposed to be like very famous in the last decade or even in this decade as well, in the last 10, 15 years. So SPSS modeler flow is one of the tools which is for data analytics and machine learning and it creates streams. So I'm gonna show you that in the next video. Another method is using the Watson machine learning service itself, there is a direct method or automatic method to deploy the model using some databases, uh, data, data sets. I'm gonna show you that as well. And the third one is Python or R notebooks. So I'm gonna create notebooks and I'm gonna show you how you can do the deployment of models from the notebooks. So SPSS, I'm gonna show you that. Watson Machine Learning Service, which is, we call it as WML, will also be there and then Python and R notebooks. And then all of these are the methods and whatever you feel comfortable, use that. Then there would be models which will be published. So on using these three methods, you publish a model which can easily be accessed using APIs. So you can deploy the model onto the Watson machine learning service for APIs from various applications to be able to consume it. So that is the whole fundamental concept which we are going to be working in the next few videos. Thank you for watching.